It is the 19th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off on SOT.net tonight's rare Bolivian tornado caught on video. Uh, this is off the Weather Channel on the 17th of November. And uh, Canada, British Columbia, first snow hits parts of Metro Vancouver. And uh, U.S. major wildfire outside Reno, Nevada closes 90 schools. Now I had one of my uh, longtime subs and uh, channels here on YouTube, uh, AFA Sky Goddess, send me a report on this. Uh, she says, I'm a flight attendant. We witnessed the fire at about 6 a.m. when the hotel shuttle was driving us to the airport. I'm in San Francisco now. Maybe I need to carry a camera on my purse for those opportunities. We phone Kalen works on emergencies. I gotta tell you, it's huge. Never saw anything like it. Winds are so brutal out. Plane rocked and rolled beyond belief when we ascended. I've been flying for 27 years. I can count on one hand the times I've had a plane twist and turn and out wildly below 10,000 feet. Last time was when we landed in a hurricane. Get the picture? This fire is massively huge. Thank you, thank you. I got another story. Early season record cold temperatures stun residents of Alaska. And it is brutal up there. We got another uh, 6.0 magnitude earthquake off the coast of New Zealand. And another story on here, um, U.S. seismologists want Portland residents to help track earthquakes. Check it out. Uh, the Pacific Northwest sits atop an earthquake zone that is nearly a mirror image of the deep fault that ruptured the seafloor off Japan in March, killing thousands. The scientists are looking for volunteers in Portland to help keep track of earthquakes having seismographs placed in their home or business in a citizen science project called NetQuakes. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey says it's trying to build networks with more dense and uniformly spaced seismographs in select urban areas to provide better measurements of ground motion during earthquakes. And they're saying that it'll make them help uh, ability to increase or speed up their warnings. And that's about all they have tonight. Uh, over on the extinction pro protocol, uh, out of India, small cracks appeared at least three points in the 115 year old uh, this huge dam in India following two minor tremors that occurred Sunday or that occurred early on Friday. Their tremors and cracks have been created a panic among the people along of the river downstream areas, of course. The district has more than a dozen large and medium sized dam, including Asia's largest arch dam. Officials say the the Water Resources Department said the cracks had appeared in Block 17 and the joint of Block 17 and 18 following the tremors. Uh, this is definitely not good news. And uh, war drums rattle. Chinese and the Pakistanis are uh, having military drills. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Watchers now. Uh, that big volcano that, that erupted in Chile, uh, I'm, I'm not going to mispronounce the name, uh, is still active more than five months after its initial explosive eruption. Uh, the volcano continues to produce impressive plumes of ash. Most of the ash from this powerful early eruption, the first plumes flew high into the atmosphere to create the global stopping air traffic from South America to New Zealand. Volcanic ash can uh, clog and stall jet engines. So this thing is continuing to erupt, and you're going to remember that they're dumping all this ash on the Argentinian farm fields. Uh, Phobos Grunt and Living Interplay Flight Experiment or Life. Uh, they're talking about the, the Chinese part of it. They have this uh, microbe uh, life form to see if it's possible to survive the trip to Mars with the radiation. El Hero on Red Alert, and I believe that's, sorry, I believe that uh, probe, the grunt probe, is still due to crash on the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. I will attach a link uh, where you'll be able to track it live. El Hero on red alert. Additional beaches closed. El Hero, sorry. Well, the earthquakes are increasingly gradually 
in number at El Euro submarine volcano area since midnight. IGN has listed 37 earthquakes. Now, the strongest one was at 1532 UTC, a 3.7. Uh, the epicenter was closed to the beach in El Golfo Bay. The, hypers, the, the hypo center was the depth of 23 kilometers. Uh, and again, they're saying, you know, more magma is building underwater. We've got a big dark filament of magnesium visible on the sun. Uh, some pretty dramatic uh, video and pictures of that. Heavy flooding still battering Southeast Asia. Unusually heavy monsoon rains have caused devastation across Southeast Asia. And that's about all they have new tonight. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, of course, we've got the huge massive fire in, uh, in Nevada and Reno. What's new? We've got a forest fire in the state of Illinois. Heat wave going on in India. Big snowstorm in Montana. Flash flooding, uh, some pretty extensive flash flooding in the Philippines. More flash flooding in the Philippines. And that's about all they have new tonight. Now over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, this is ENENews.com. Uh, 451 deaths due to physical deterioration triggered by the disaster. Number expected to increase dramatically from long-term fatigue and worsening of chronic diseases as Fukushima. Out of the United States, uh, kudos goes out to uh, Dutch Sense. He made ENE News. Uh, his video is attached to this next story. Elf, uh, Air Filter Friday. Radioactivity at 300% of normal background in Los Angeles area dust. 350 CPM in St. Louis area ionic breeze video when he did the ionic breeze uh, with his Geiger counter uh, some pretty uh, eye-opening stuff going on that was crazy to watch Fukushima diary like others I've had diarrhea for months coughing and sore throat too see picture of uh, this guy at work and again they, they can't stop the truth from coming out of Fukushima uh, Another incident at New, um, North Carolina nuclear plant. Condition at reactor 2 significantly de degraded plant safety. Local news mentions concern about health threats to public. And they have a video attached to that story. Fukushima TV news host quits after becoming pregnant. Had reported Fukushima was safe. Children ate cherries even without washing them. This is criminal what these people are doing in Japan. Criminal. And uh, that's about all I'm going to throw at you tonight. Um, so, uh, congratulations, Dutch. I, I give kudos out when you, especially when you make a new source like this. Keep producing those videos for sure. And uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.